Hello right bags, it's Jade. Welcome to a different type of video from me. I'm pretty much just giving you a countdown of what I've been playing and what you can expect maybe the rest of this week. Um, thank you so much for all the support and Grounded. It's been phenomenal. The game is obviously going up massively. The most downloaded game on Steam, like millions of views. A million people have played it in the last 48 hours. There's lots of bugs. Get it? Bugs. There's lots of problems and issues with it. Um, I really love the game. There's some great stuff to it, but I will be highlighting a couple of things I think it needed and definitely what it needs in the future. So expect a impressions review video going up tomorrow. But that's not the only thing I've actually played this week. A bunch of other good stuff as well. And I kind of want to talk about everything I've been doing and try and do this a bit more regularly. So excuse the lockdown here. I still need to get my barnet actually done and dusted. But yeah, here we go. This is what I've been up to this week. Alright, first off, Roki. It's a cute little 2D style adventure game. I ain't gonna lie, I thought it was a platformer, so when it turned out to be a bit of a point and click adventure game, I was maybe a little bit confused. It's got a great art style, it's a bit different than other people might kind of associate with me, but I do love these types of games, I really love artistic stuff, and it's got some really good points. The art's good, the music's good, there's a nice little atmosphere. Pretty much you're escaping some big massive monster. You and your little brother escaping through the Scandinavian landscape, all the while being chased by this horrific monster. Definitely a great little game if you're playing it on the Switch, maybe on the go. But I was a little bit underwhelmed by the intro and the start of it. It's way too long to get to the really exciting part. As you go around doing the mundane tasks, looking after your idiot sibling and maybe prepping dinner, I felt like that could have all been condensed down a little bit more. Roki is out right now for around £20. It's got some cool little mechanics, some cool little uh, puzzle elements. Maybe I need to give it even more time to really get into it. But definitely the first half an hour just didn't grab me as much as I thought it would judging by what was going on with the trailer. And unlike a lot of adventure games where you go back and forth, it didn't seem to be that case, not at the start anyway. But for sure, I'm gonna try giving it one more shot, so you may see a full impressions video in the coming weeks. It is on the Nintendo Switch site, so I'm guessing it's gonna be coming to that soon. But for now, it was just maybe a little bit too slow for me to really get into as much as I'd hoped. So first of all, what can I say more about Grounded? It's been phenomenal, the channel is buzzing at the moment, the views have been rolling in. I've been prepping you guys for weeks, showcasing the demo and the cheats that I use to pretty much keep playing the demo and show stuff that maybe might not be in the game for ages. So I really appreciate all the support for the Grounded content. Go and check out the rest of it. I will have a full review slash impressions video coming up tomorrow. There's definitely some fantastic stuff with it. It's easily one of the better survival games I've played in the last few years. But it still does have quite a few drawbacks. And definitely right now in terms of bug fixing and some of the big problems it's got. I really do feel like they could have maybe just concentrated a little bit more on some of them issues. Or maybe tested it a bit more thoroughly before releasing it. But 1 million players have now played the game in the last 48 hours. That's an incredible amount. Top of the charts for sales. And it's doing pretty well on the views. So yeah, expect to see a lot more grounded content this week. I've got loads of ideas about fresh content. And yes, I know where the B armor is. I showed you guys it was going to be in the game. And I've shown through a bunch of different live streams and other videos that there is that B armor and a bunch more. So go and check out all the previous videos if you're loving the grounded content. I will be doing a let's play with my new mate Boney. And I've got ideas about getting people involved where we might do PvP 1 versus 3. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Drake Hollow hasn't got a release date just yet. It was meant to come out on the 17th of July. But I got given exclusive access to it to show you guys. And I've been loving the hell out of it. I can't really do too much more than the first section though. And I can't talk too much about my overall impressions. But based on the first section, I think this game's great. And based on the demo that they had alongside Grounded at the time, Drake Hollow's got some really cool mechanics. You've got to keep your Drakes alive against these horrible creatures that will come and pretty much periodically destroy your base. You've got to go and explore procedurally generated world. You get new weapons, new crafting machines. It's a bunch of good fun and it's co-op and it's coming to the Games Pass as well. I've even got an interview with the creative director of the Molasses Flood, the studio. So that's going to be coming out Sunday or Monday this week. So stay tuned for that to hear a bit more about it and just general talk about survival and gaming. And as soon as we do get a confirmed release date again for it, due to their last minute snag they hit, I will let you guys know because I will be covering this massively. Frozen Flame, I still haven't tried. But Kyra on Fire has and hopefully we're going to be doing some content maybe this week together. 
Liking the look of this one, it's a bit different. Imagine like Dauntless mixed in with, uh, I would say, every other survival game you've ever played. And you kind of get the idea where it's going. My guys have been telling me it's a lot like Citadel Forge with Fire with the magical element. And that's not such a bad thing. There's some good stuff in that game. So yeah, you're probably going to be seeing me play this a little bit more. Full guys, technical beta is up and alive. Trying to win the Battle Royale against 60 other players. I think it's going to go up to 100 when it's fully launched. Obviously, it's been massive on Twitch. It's just a bunch of fun. I've had a bunch of keys have been given away on my Twitter, so you should go and check it out on my profile. I'm pretty sure not a lot of people have probably actually redeemed them. And I've put a bunch in my Discord. So if you're still looking to try the beta out, which runs out tomorrow, come join my Discord and you should see it in general chat where I've given away the keys. On top of that, the usual stuff, Rust. We have got a custom map coming in, boys and girls. You may have seen it. It's got a huge world based on the real world. It's got like San Francisco Bridge. It's got a city in it. Loads of locations and it is modelled on the real world as in the landscapes at least look like the real world. We had to pay big boy bucks for it to actually get the map itself. It's like a modded version. So expect us to stream a bit more of that this week. But it's been fun. We messed around with a lot of the car action this week with the boys. And I can't wait to get my hands on this on console eventually when we hear some proper news. And yes, you can see Conan Exiles. I am playing the new content. I can't say anything more than that. I am under NDA, but I am allowed to tell you that I am playing a new update. No idea when we're going to hear any news about a release, but I am playing it and I've been playing it quite a bit. So there we go. Just kind of a little roundup of all the stuff I've been up to this week. More of like a little gaming vlog and kind of what to expect in the next week or so. More Grounded, hopefully Drake Hollow. Taking a look at a bunch of brand new survival games as well. The usual, usual stuff. And yeah, just a big shout out. Thank you for all the support. We've hit our eighth month where we've had over a million views. The channel's in just the best position it's ever been. And I can't wait to carry on trying to make it even better. So thank you for everyone for liking and watching. I'll see you guys hopefully for more live streams. Kicking off on Sunday, we're going to be doing some Grounded with Kyle on Fire and some other people. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.